hello, key stage one. Let's get ready to have some fun. I'm very, very excited about today's activity because I absolutely love doing this because I am, I, I, I do, I do these very realistically. Today's activity is a good old fashioned story map, just like we used to do back in the days of school, normal school. Uh, what your task is today is to read a verse or a little chunk of the Quangle Wangle poem by Edward Lear, the Quangle Wangle's hat, and draw little images to match the sentence that you're reading. We're not going to draw a picture for every single word, otherwise it would get a little bit too messy. Um, but we're just going to try and draw one image or maybe two or maybe three um, to, help, to help remind us what's being said in the poem. So, um, as I'm drawing the images, I would like you to have a think about um, how this is different to when we do a normal story map for a normal story. Have a look at where I'm writing, uh, where I'm drawing the new pictures each time. And is it the same or is it different to when I draw pictures for a, a fairy tale, for example, for a story? Right, here we go. The Quangle Wangle's Hat, that's the title. So I'm going to just simply draw a picture of a hat, very realistically. Of course. Here we go. A quangle wangles hat. And that is the title of the story, The Quangle Wangles Hat. On top of the crumpety tree. Now that's the first line. On top of the crumpety tree. So what I'll do is I'll draw the crumpety tree with his little crumpets inside. And I'm going to point it, my arrow on the top. So on top of the crumpety tree. Next line, the quangle wangle sat. So this is the best part. You can draw your own quangle wangle, make him uh, as quangly or wangly as you'd like. So the quangle wangle sat is my quangle wangle. I just love saying that word. There he is sitting down. His beady little eyes and he's sitting obviously. Now there is a comma at the end of this line. I'm going to put a little comma just to remind me. But his face you could not see. So I'll draw uh, a face with a question mark because you can't really see it on account of his beaver hat. Now that's the next line. So I'll draw a hat again except I won't make it with ribbons and bibbons. I'll make it into a furry beavery hat. There's a hat and it's just got lots of fur. For his hat was a hundred and two feet wide. So let's draw the hat again, except let's make it a little bit wider. Not to scale, however, please note. There's his hat and I'm going to put a hundred and two Hundred and two feet wide with ribbons and bibbons on every side. So let's draw some ribbons and bibbons on every side. And bells and buttons and loops and lace. Okay. Bells. It's a bell. I'm gonna put a little punctuation here because it's a list. Bells and buttons. Draw a button. It actually does look like, pretty much like a button. I would say that's definitely a button and that's definitely a bell. Um, comma. He's still writing list. And bells and buttons and loops. So let's draw some loops. Comma. And lace. There's a lace. I'll just draw. These very realistic looking pieces of lace. Yep. So that nobody could ever see the face. So again, nobody could ever see the face. In fact, because nobody can see his face, I'll rub his face off there. 
so nobody could ever see the face of the quangle wangle queen so here we go quangle wangle queen that's him that's my quangle wangle with his little feet maybe some arms here we go okay so uh let's go through the the poem again the quangle wangle's hat on top of the crumpety tree the quangle wangle sat but his face you could not see on account of his beaver hat so it's furry for his hat was a hundred and two feet wide with ribbons and bibbons on every side with bells and buttons and loops and lace so that nobody could ever see the face of the quangle wangle queen now um, hopefully some of you will have been noticing how uh, this is different to when we do a normal story map well I shouldn't say normal a story map for a fairy tale for a normal sort of story um, how is this different have a look at where the pictures are when we when we draw a story map for a story we normally go left to right because that's how we read and write but for a poem the lines are under each other which is why I've put my images under each other to show that so if you already noticed that and you already have said that to somebody well done fantastic um, and you should be very proud of yourself for noticing the next thing I'm going to do is we're gonna do some actions because we haven't done actions in a long time and I think we'll do some actions because actually this is a really fun poem. So you don't have to copy my actions. You can do your own, but these are just my actions for this part of the poem, which I find helped me. Okay, so here we go. The quangle wangles hat. On top of the crumpety tree, the quangle wangle sat, but his face you could not see on account of his beaver hat, for his hat was a hundred and two feet wide, with ribbons and bibbons on every side, and bells, and buttons, and loops, and lace. So four things. Or you could do bells and buttons and loops and lace, so that nobody could ever see the face of the quangle wangle queen. So those are just some actions that you could um, play around with. You could change them, you could make your own, and you even could take a video of your actions and email them over to me. If you wanted an extra challenge, you could carry on reading the rest of the poem and carry on with your story map. Don't forget, you can color in your images as well, your pictures, you can color them in. And I uh, hope this uh, video helped you and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.